Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be showing you one of the bullet games that I played. It was a one minute bullet and my, I was playing his, here as black, my open side of a d4. I went with c6, open goes c4, I went with d5 uh, and initial moves in bullet are most likely when you pre-move everything. That was what was going on and here I generally play a bishop to g4. The idea is since that's a pre-move, uh, most likely the opponent is likely to play uh, e3 or maybe e4 and then hang the queen. That is a very frequent thing which I have seen. I have won queens like that in bullet multiple times. Uh, my opponent wasn't playing the pre-moves there, so took on the pawn. I take back and now pawn forward. Uh, f3 trying to kick the bishop back. So generally I place my bishop back onto... Uh, h5 and then to g6 again pre moves trying to save time and get some initial advantage open goes queen to b3 and i played b6 here uh, open does trade off with the queens and here uh, open can give a fork so i had to move the king because otherwise uh, knight c7 uh, wins the rook on the spot open plays a bishop to f4 and I played a uh, pawn to e6, trying to kick the knight, but now knight can acquire the c7, and my rook is trapped, there's no way. Again, I had no point of time uh, here to think anything beyond it, because I was playing fast, uh, trying to win on time, but suddenly I find myself in a lot of trouble, and this looks a very bad situation to be in. No matter how fast you are playing, one minute is good enough for the opponent to checkmate you. Now, before we continue with this game further, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So after knight to c7, I went with uh, knight to e7, open takes the rook, I go with knight to d5, uh, open doesn't take my knight which was hanging for free, open could have taken with the bishop but again open was also playing fast. I went with knight c6, defending the knight now, and now pawn forward by the opponent, trying to hit my knight. And now I give a check with the bishop from b4. Uh, king moves on to d1, and now knight e3, uh, check, giving a check to the opponent king again. And I'm threatening uh, to go on to uh, c2 as well. Uh, I'm attacking a bishop. So it's a decent position, but again, I'm down a lot of material already uh, so i'm looking forward to casting as well uh, but it's it looks a very dubious game from uh, so far and opponent has got all the advantage if you see now uh, king moves to e2 attacking the knight and here i move my knight uh, to c2 uh, there trying to attack the rook rook attacks my knight and i take a pawn give the check open comes up uh, on to e3 with the king and i just move my king because i want to get my rook into action there's not much time as well i'm down material if you see the clocks also open this 10 seconds ahead in a one minute game that's like gold dust open goes with uh, knight to c7 i try to attack the knight with the rook and now open kicks my bishop backwards which now comes to c5 uh threatening discoveries uh, with a check and then the rook is hanging uh, open plays pawn for attacking the bishop so that the bishop has to be moved uh, but here i had an idea that i can give a check with the knight because when two pieces are attacked giving a check uh, the opponent has to move the king there's no other option you cannot my both the pieces are hanging but you cannot capture any because it's a check from the knight and the bishop as well so you really cannot take it uh, no matter how much you want to uh, so that was one of the ideas and my opponent moves with king to f4 and that leads to a beautiful checkmate from bishop to e3. Operant has not got any squares to be going. The diagonal is covered. The other bishop was controlling the uh, g4 already. So the one uh, and knight was all, already defended with the pawn. So despite everything hanging and I was down with a lot of material, I won this game with a beautiful checkmate with king onto f4. With my bishop... Uh, that's a checkmate with only a bishop, nothing much there. So yeah, I thought of sharing this wonderful game which I played today. 
and i hope you do like it do let me know if you find this checkmate to be interesting enough and yeah please share your games if you see if you have done some checkmate like this in the comments below i would love to watch them as well thanks for your time and please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now thank you take care bye bye